so today's pretty exciting. It's currently 6 a.m. and today is stage two. We're gonna head to Greenbrook, New Jersey uh, to a place called Redline Speedworks. Uh, it's usually where I get all my work done. Uh, currently I have stage one uh, for the uh, APR, ECU, TCU tune. I got that about, I would say, uh, six months ago. I got this, I picked up this car June 1st of 2015. I currently have 5,000 miles on it. And uh, I've been waiting for stage two to come out. And uh, today's the day. So uh, I'll bring you along, but first I need coffee. So that's where I'm headed. Currently I have APR Stage 1 ECU TCU tune. I am running an AWE Touring Exhaust uh, and currently an AWE uh, S-Flow intake, the whole carbon fiber deal, which I am gonna be getting rid of. I have the Rockier on, on order. Uh, it just depends on whenever I'm gonna get that. looking forward to that I'll be doing some uh, comparison runs you know so I'll give you some some runs on my way there so you can kind of hear what the exhaust sounds and maybe even the intake and hopefully see a difference between the stage one and the stage two tune now for those who don't know stage two involves the APR high flow downpipes and the corresponding tune for that should gain, I don't know what they say, 10, 20 horse or something like that. Um, but what I'm really anxious to hear is how the exhaust is going to sound. I love the way it sounds right now. I don't want a loud car. Um, I heard a few clips of people with the Stage 2, uh, but not with the AW exhaust. Uh, it, it sounds pretty mean from what I understand in manual mode or dynamic for that matter. Let's turn this defroster on. Um, so I'm curious to see uh, I'm curious to see how it's going to sound with the AW exhaust. I'm hoping that they they uh, they mate right up to the APR downpipes and that I don't have to hack up this exhaust. But uh, I'll find out soon enough. Right now I'm just driving in regular mode. I think once I get on the highway, I can do some acceleration runs. I'll switch it to sport mode. Hopefully the audio is okay. I'm using a GoPro, so that's all I got for now. All right, I'll switch it to sport mode. You can pick that up in the audio. I just love when the vehicle downshifts and you hear that, that backfire and that, that verbal that.
can't beat the value they're the hand cooked V12s and uh, you know I don't they're, they're fine for you know normal everyday use but I think I'm going to delve into uh, the Pilot Super Sports I've never had a set of those and there's been nothing but great reviews on them so I think I'm going to give those a try yeah these are I got about 10,000 miles on these tires and I think last time I had them checked they're about a little less than halfway gone but I'll tell you what they're really loud when I got the APR stage one tune uh, shortly thereafter they came out with version 1.1 to address some issues and I'm hoping that I don't run into that issue today but if I do I have the capability of clearing it but I don't know why it happens, but it just it just immediately goes into limp mode. Um, the car jerks, all the lights come on, all these faults come on, all these error codes come on, and I don't have any power. So it's happened to me about three times in the past since I've had the tune, and uh, supposedly version 1.1 uh, fixes the issue. Um, so I'm hoping that that resolves that and uh, let's just hope it doesn't happen on the way there but if it does then you'll understand what I mean and uh, it's, it's not it's not a good feeling I'm fortunate that I have this little dongle that I have attached and I can just hook up my phone and clear the codes and I'm good to go had I not had that when it first happened it would have been me it would have been it would have been uh, I would have had to have been towed. So let's just hope that doesn't happen. Other than that, the car runs great. It's it's quick. When I first, if you looked at my other videos, my my uh, my launch videos, my very first one, uh, I I had uh, I did a, a launch video, and uh, the whole time I thought that the tune was on however I come to find out that I was in limp mode that whole time so once I cleared the code I did a few more runs and it was a, just an absolute night and day difference it was unbelievable right now I currently have the launch control RPM set at 4500 which I think is too high so when I get to red line I'm gonna have them lower that to 3500 or whatever the next step down is which should help in traction. There we go. And there's the code. And gets fixed because you can see all these faults come on it's a rough rough idle I'm limited on power so I'm gonna shut the car off so this is what I have here I'm going to turn this on here. I don't know if you can see that. Connect. There we go. Diagnostics. I'm going to read the trouble codes. And that's the code I get. So I'm going to clear that. There we go. Shut the car off. And back to normal. So that's a little discouraging. But that's why we're going to Redline. I don't know 
if it has to do with the weather. I don't know. I mean, I think it usually happens when it's cold. But who knows? I don't know. I'm just glad I have that little uh, dongle attached for me to clear the codes. Otherwise, it would be a tow truck for me. history about how I got started with Audis. You know, I, back in my day, I've always been, and I hate to admit it, no, I don't. It's part of my childhood, so to speak, but I grew up in, in Hondas, and you know, my first car was a Honda Civic, so, but anyway, my first Audi was a 2012 S4, Glacier White, and at the time, that was the most expensive car that I've ever owned, but I loved it. I, um, I got I got stage two um, Gaiac, the uh, upgraded pulley, and that thing was awesome. I mean, I adored that car. My favorite car, hands down, to, up until that time. But I had the AW exhaust on that, the S flow intake on that, and just I just loved that car. It's a totally different car than the S6. The S4 handles better. It's it's lightweight. It's lighter, more nimble, and the supercharger. You just the thing about that supercharger wine is just something that you just can't beat. Um, then again, you know, sound of a V8 twin turbo spooling up sounds amazing as well. But that supercharger wine, especially with that intake, I had the I had the Rocky Row intake on that one. That thing sounded awesome. I think I have a clip in my YouTube if you care to check that out. I had kept that car about a year and I got a 2014 S6, same color, brand new, it was a leftover. And when I got in that car, I mean, I was like, that's it. That, this, this is the car, my favorite car, hands down. And uh, I got Gaiac on that one and I did not enjoy the Gaiac tune. I went with Gaiac on that because I had it on my S4 and I had no problems whatsoever. I mean it ran beautifully. I got the Gaiac stage one tune on the S6 and it, it gave me the power that it was um, advertised to give but it was just, the idle was rough, they were still having bugs in it, the uh, red line was moved, and I just I just wasn't happy with it. And the customer service and the support was pretty much non-existent. So I switched over to the APR2, and after that, it was, it was fine, I loved it. However, I got the bug again, and I have a friend that works at Audi, and she ended up uh, working with me to order this particular car that I'm in right now, which is a 2016. So I did a, I did a special order. I got lucky that I placed my order exactly April 1st last year, and I had snuck into an, uh, an allocation slot that pretty much went into production almost immediately. So from April 1st, normally it's about three, almost four month wait. I took delivery June 1st and uh, I ordered exactly the way I wanted it and that's where I'm at today. So again, hands down, my absolute favorite car. Um, if you saw the grin on my face every time I sat in this car, I don't know, it's just something about it. So yeah, that's, that's like how I got into Audis.
over there. Huge accident on the uh, highway. But we bypassed it, thank goodness for Waze. How you doing? Good. Michael? Yeah. Alright. I'm just gonna bring you back to the scene. Okay. I'll be calling you. Am I following you? Yeah. Oh, okay. How are you? Good, how are you? What's going on? Good to meet you. Yeah, you wanna check these things out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Have you done these yet? Nope, you'll be first. Oh, cool. Well, we've, we've done other ones. We've done the Miltech ones, but you will be the first one receiving these. There you go. Nice. Even label there. Set number one. Nice, nice. <laughs> So, um, you don't think my exhaust needs to be cut, right? They should mate right up. Yep. Okay, good. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, pretty uh, pretty mean. Yeah, I'm looking How's forward to it. So. Yeah, so it's, it's... Good, I'm looking forward to the it. The car is going to be... It's stage one now? Yes, it's stage one. Yeah. I got it done here. Okay, cool. And, uh, you know, I've been meaning to come back for one dot, you know, 1.1, 1. 1, but... Yep. No, now, now, now it completely justifies your trip. Exactly. <laughs> and on my way down, it, it, it tripped. Like oh, the, really? Yeah, that's, I've been having problems with that, um, where the, the car just goes into limp mode. Okay. Have you heard of that before? Um, yes, I have. Okay. But what? 1.1 1, 1. 1 supposed to fix that? Yeah, what was the driving conditions when it happened? It, it seems to happen when I go to accelerate. Okay. And then it just like it like jerks forward, and then all the lights come on. Okay. And then it, it just no power, so I gotta pull over. And luckily, I have that thing connected. Oh, the so dongle. I, yeah. Perfect. Well, not the APR dongle. I just have oh, my you, own. Oh, you have your own. And I was able to clear the codes and keep going. Hey, okay, so whatever that's you good. got. All right, let's go here. One eternity later. All right, finally done. It's currently five thirty. Took the whole day, but uh, I'm hoping it's worth it. I'm beat. So uh, let's go and uh, start it up. You can already tell it's a little bit louder, but we'll find out more once we hit the road. All right, here we go. Right now I'm driving in uh, just regular regular mode. So in the beginning, uh, I come to find out that the uh, APR downpipes don't mate up to the AW touring exhaust right from the get-go. Um, the AW exhaust actually comes up a little bit short by about eight inches. So what they had to do was um, was a uh, weld in about an eight inch extension um, so that it reaches, which was no big deal. Um, and it worked out, but that's what took a little bit longer. Sounds nice.
feels like it accelerates a little bit quicker. I mean, according to the butt dyno, but. out of the exhaust um, it's definitely louder for sure my initial impression is that I like it I, like I said I think I just need to get a little bit more used to it but from what I can tell, it's a little bit louder. It's definitely a little bit faster. The acceleration I can feel. I think that's different. I'm cruising in seventh gear, and I can hear a little bit of drone from the exhaust um, when I when I have the when I'm pushing on the pedal. Off the pedal, I don't hear it. worth it. Stage two, uh, the APR downpipes and, um, and the tune. I haven't run into an error code yet, knock on wood. Only wood in here. But overall it feels good. The uh, power delivery, the torque, uh, I think it's definitely an improvement. I mean, the only way to really tell is if you put it on a dyno, but I'm gonna do some straight line runs uh, when I find a, a, a better area. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to tell a difference there. And I'm about, uh, about 20 miles away from home yet. And uh, my overall impression is still positive.
and uh, attach this GoPro to the bumper. Maybe we'll get some outside um, perspective. See how that comes out but uh, I try to get some outside of the car footage just to try and hear what it sounds like sounds with the window open I guess we'll find out but I'm nearing my house uh, overall again impression is very positive I love the sound of it it's not overly obnoxious there is some drone in, in, in just your normal cruising um, but when you get on it it's it's it sounds pretty mean I'm happy with it 
Uh, I'll be doing more videos. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want, if you want to hear something. Um, like I said, I'll be getting rid of the AWE um, e intake. Um, as rumor has it, uh, you actually lose power with it on the stage two. So I have a Rocky Row intake on order. Um, we'll see when that gets in. Um, into my hands, but uh, I'll do an install video on that and then I will do a, uh, a video once it's installed. So, 